Hey guys, this is Ginny from Polly's Paper Studio and we are in crunch time to get all of the handcrafted greeting cards prepared for Christmas for our friends and family and this is one I'm making today. I'm using the Christmas air mail printable from my shop. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is very sweet and vintagey and retro and I love winter birds. So I took the inspiration from the border and found this paper um, and created a very um, sweet and simple card from it that is perfectly mailable. So let's make this together. So I've got my card base all set. This is five by six and a half inch side folding card with pattern paper on the inside to coordinate with the front. I will add a small section for a Christmas um, sentiment to be added and now I'm just going to start layering the top. So I found this paper in my Valentine paper stash and I got so excited because it coordinated so well with the border of that principle but by itself it's like whoa so much stripe it makes your eyes twitch. Um, so I'm going to get this down quickly and then we're going to cover it up with the next layer. Um, I picked the red out of here for the matting and I think that makes it a little bit more Christmassy, even though it looks fine in the end right now. It is a little bit um, blue forward, so I want to make sure that I really bring it right into the season. And so the next layer is going to cover some of that stripe. Sorry if I made your eyes all buggy. Um, but I wanted to leave like a quarter of an inch of a border around so that you do definitely get that air mail effect um, without uh, it being so stripey. Now I've got this really sweet pattern and it's just a subtle snowflake from Authentique Papers. This is from the um, jingle collection from this year and I thought that was a really great way to tie in that blue. Now it makes sense in the uh, color plan and the white border around that helps to keep those busy patterns separate. And now I've got an additional blue uh, pattern and I used that same red as the outside border so that I could separate those patterns and that is just going right to the bottom. This is quite a substantial card now with all these layers, but that's how I like them, nice and sturdy. Okay, so for the image, I opened the file in Word and then I cropped into the one that I wanted to print and then I shrunk it down because I wanted it to fit this size card a little better. Um, and so I basically just clicked on the corner and drug it in and that sized it and kept the uh, ratio of the measurements perfect so it printed beautifully. Um, I gave it a border of that white again um, like I did for the snowflake and then I printed a second image and I cut the birds out very carefully fussy cut those out um, and then I added a little bit of stickles as an accent. So I'm going to add that as a dimensional layer. This card is relatively flat, um, but I do want to bring that bird image forward so that it will be more of a focus. So I'm just going to add this here. And to pop that up, I have the spacers. These are the scrapbook adhesive. They're very thin, so they're not like regular bulky uh, foam tabs. They just add a little bit of dimension and that is perfect for this card. So um, I'm gonna add that next. This is um, Christmas birds. I just love them. I think they're so sweet and uh, they just remind me of the season. They're a little bit fragile, but uh, they just look really lovely when everything else gets a little bit gray and gloomy. And we usually feed them um, so that we can watch them from our front porch. But the raccoons have destroyed my bird feeder. We got a really pretty one uh, for Mother's Day this year. And once 
evening we heard a racket out front um, and that stinking rotten raccoon was literally hanging from the bottom of the bird feeder and now it won't close correctly so it won't hold the bird seat so I guess maybe I will put that on my Christmas list if Santa Claus is watching and hopefully we can feed those pretty little birds again. All right, this is a very simple flower arrangement. I have only one flower. It is that poinsettia that I used a lot this year. I put leaves on that that were from the large flower dye. Then I added this pretty kind of flourishy foliage around the outside and that is because it reminded me of this kind of scroll effect in the background of the printable so I've at that and here are a couple of loopy twine bows and a couple of small glitter stars and that just breaks up that dark corner a little bit if you want to see how I uh, arrange my my flowers off project I'll link that video in the description so you can check that out but I like to have them all prepared and then add them as a single piece to my card and that will just go in the corner and it will be like a little nest for my birds. I'm really glad you guys that I remembered about this image because I really did want to use it and then I just got busy doing all the things and then I was sad because I thought, well, there we go. I didn't use the one that I really did want to use. Um, so here is, um, I'm just leaving a little bit of that corner of the printable. You see how well that matches? I was kind of excited when I found that. I was like happy accident. Um, here is the bow for the top and I want to be very careful not to cover the sentiment. Um, that scripty font is really pretty so I'm going to add that. This is just red satin with snowflakes and then more of that burlap string in a vintage button. Hold that down and make sure that it is right exactly where I want it so that it doesn't cover the words. So in my last card video, we did a uh, four cards from dollar store tags video, which was a lot of fun. Um, I did get a question about the one with the bells because I mentioned I did want to be able to put them in standard size envelope for shipping. Um, and that one is not getting shipped out. That one is for my son's girlfriend's family and he's going to deliver it. So I probably should have made that more clear. Um, that one is not going in the mail in a regular envelope, but this one is going in the mail and I'm going to put it in a, um, a small manila envelope with just some 110 pound card stock around it to keep the uh, flowers from getting smushed too much. So it's not going to be like regular shipping, um, but it won't have to go in a box because I didn't add all the big dimensional items. Okay, so, so that is it for our card today. I used the Christmas airmail printable from my shop. There's a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm wishing you a happy and productive day, and I thank you so much for watching. Bye!